ascending and thick ascending. Thick ascending is important because it has the same thing. We said sodium potassium pump, right? Sodium drags in and potassium is kicked out. Sodium potassium pump stimulates or causes sodium. This pump is called a sodium potassium two chloride pump. The reason it's two chloride is to counter the two positive charges here. So chloride has two negative charges that we have uh, balance of, of charge returning back into the body. This is really important because it, it sets up what we call the gradient for the, the kidney to allow for water reabsorption to occur. Now in the DCT, or let's go back to this. So this just shows you sodium potassium pump drives the sodium potassium two chloride to reabsorb particles back into the body to change the concentration. Now, what about the other portion? The thin, descending and thin ascending, deal with water. So you can either drag water out or you can return water back to the nephron. We'll cover that later, but I want you to see it. So I can either drag water out from the nephron and return it to the body. This is thin descending, or I can push water back into the nephron. This is going to be a thin ascending limb. Thick ascending deals with sodium and chloride or sodium potassium pump driving sodium to chloride, uh, sodium potassium to chloride pump. Continuing on. So this is just a view of the same thing. We said water moves out, water can move back in. But this whole section here, this whole section here from thick ascending all the way to the end. Wow. Yes from thick ascending all the way to the end is impermeable to water. That means there needs to be a hormone, so thick ascending all the way to the end, there needs to be a hormone that opens up doors in order to allow transport of water. Yay. Next one, DCT. So the DCT, wait, wait, wait. the DCT here is distal convoluted tubule. And it has the same setup where it is sodium, potassium, right? But in, the, in this case, it simply just drags back in salt and chloride, and it kicks out potassium. So it drags in sodium, and along with it, chloride, and it kicks out potassium. What do we have here? This is the collecting ducts, collecting tubules, basically just the end of the nephron. So it drags sodium potassium pump, does the same thing. It just drags in sodium and chloride and kicks out, and that's sodium and chloride. It just drags in salt and kicks out potassium. So it just mimics this, and we're going to keep it as simple as that, and we will stop here.